All right, friends, we're here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Crazy, crazy, crazy times. And it's amazing because I'm going walking through these buildings and I'm seeing a lot of these manufacturers that have products on our boat. And it's good to talk to the people that are behind them. I'm here with John Glenn Denning. All right. And uh, so tell us a little bit about your, your company and what products you offer. Sure. My dad started the company about 51 years ago. Wow. In the basement of our house in New Jersey. And he had a dream to be an entrepreneur, and he had an idea for a product, and the uh, Glendinning Automatic Twin Engine Synchronizer was born. Wow. And it was a standard of the industry back in the day. Along the way, he also developed something called a Cable Master. You know, handling this cable, it's really heavy. Uh, a standard 50-foot length of cable is almost 40 pounds. Right. And it, it's not 40 pounds up here. It's 40 pounds you gotta bend over and get. Young guy like you, not a problem. Old fart like me, yeah. So we call this an anti-schlep machine. You no longer have to schlep the cable. Right. You simply pay it out, and when you're ready to go, you pay it in. It used to be people say, oh, if I get so old, I can't lift my cable, I'll get out of boating. Well, it's called a recreational yacht. That's right. And it's supposed to play, and this helps you play. So we make four different versions of this product. This is the second from the smallest. We make one smaller. And then we make one larger than this. This is for 50 amp. This is for 100 amp cable. We actually supplied 20 of these units to the Staten Island Ferry for their shore power cable on, on, on their uh, application. So this is our Cable Master product. Along the way, we developed a new version we call the CRMA. It does the same thing, except it's on a cord reel. The unique thing about this product though, is on this product, you got to pull the cable out. To, to extend it. Right. This is the only cord reel of its kind that'll pay the cable out. Or you can use the radio control like this to pay it in, pay it out. Right. So, so if you're alone and you're by yourself, you can grab the, the end of the cord with a remote in your hand and walk it right on ready exactly. to go. That's, that's and as big. you know, on your, on your 90 footer, <laughs> this is what you need. Yeah, that's right. That is right. So, uh, so this is our, uh, cord reel product. Along the way, people said, well, do you have anything for water hoses? So we made a line of water hose reel. This is a great product for the weight, but every day you're on the boat, you're going to pull a water hose That's out. That's right. And so this part device here, you just simply pull it out and you put it away. And you're going to do this every day and you're on the boat. Day. That's right. And so we make a device that makes it very simple. We have three different sizes, depending on the application. And uh, it's, uh, it's something that every boat should have. Right. The last thing that we have to offer is our electronic controls. We've been doing this for about 25 years, uh, working hard to provide different means and methods of controlling boats. If you buy a set of Cummins engines, you'll get our controls with it. I have Yanmars in my boat. Well, if it's an older Yanmar, you yep. get our controls yep. as well. We, uh, have a display here uh, meant to show a, uh, this is our joystick operating on that Grand Banks. I think that was a 42, if I'm not mistaken. And they're docking the boat with that joystick in operation right here. That was after the Annapolis Boat Show about five years, five or six years ago. We have another product over here for water jet applications. Same product, just different programming, different equipment, different things to set up. So we, uh, have a very complete line of controls for any application uh, in the market. And I know that I love ours, so it's very reliable. And one other thing that I wanted to bring up is if you ever have any issues, your customer service department is outstanding in, in, in my experience. You know what I mean? They've always been super willing to help. Uh, fast turnaround time on parts and repairs, rebuilding things, stuff like that. And uh, so that's one thing I do want to mention in this video about the, my personal experience. As I tell people, our name, my name, is on the product. And you like people to think good things about you. And so we do our best to uh, to respond appropriately when a problem occurs yeah. and do our best to, uh, you know, hold up the name my father started the company with 50 years ago. Now, if somebody were interested in, um, you know, acquiring a set of your controls or any of your products, how is the best way for them to go about that? Well, I mean, if you have a local dealer that uh, is one of our dealers, you, there is a inquiry on our website saying, hey, I've got this boat with this site of engines. How do I go about getting a set of controls? 
and someone at the company will get back. Uh, my nephew, uh, Colin, handles that business okay. now. So someone will get back in a relatively short period of time. So what's the website address real quick for the people? Glendinningfrauds.com. We missed Glendinning.com by six months back in 1995. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. So Glendinning, G-L-E-N-D-I-N-N-I-N-G, followed by five letters, prods, short for products.com. Okay, good, good, good. Well, I can't thank you enough for taking time, and it's extremely right. nice meeting you. And uh, good luck here at thank uh, you. Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. And you guys enjoy the rest of the show. That was good, man. Thank Bye you. Bye now. Thank you.